Hey there! In this video I am going to show you how you can connect your Shopify store to your domain. So if you already have a domain that's fine. If you want to buy a domain you can shop around. For the folks that don't understand what I mean is that you can see the URL up here. It basically puts your store name dot my shopify.com so if you want a professional website usually you would want your domain URL to be you know your own domain issue so not a subdomain of my shopify.com so if you haven't bought one there's a few providers out there well more than a few so shop around get your domain um, I have used a few I have uh, recently used uh, namecheap.com then the cheaper than a lot of the others and uh, I will leave a link in my uh, description below and um, they they have been pretty good so anyways you can buy your domain from wherever you want and so once you have your domain you will have to take a few steps for your store to be connected to it. So if you are logged into your store already on the right hand side you can see some links and one of them is add domain. You could go in here and there's another way of getting to it by going into settings and in there you will see domains and then um, you know you can start the process there. So I am going to go in here add domain and then you see these two buttons buy new domain connect existing domain so yeah you can buy your domain through Shopify also I personally have not bought, bought any domains through Shopify I keep my domain registrar and my hosting account separate so in now if you go in here and click connect existing domain so this is I'm assuming you already bought your domain, you have your domain name, so you will go ahead and add your domain name here. So I have and then click next. Now one thing here, when you do this based on which uh, domain registrar you go with you might see a different um, process here when I say process you might see uh, a pop-up coming up or something so there's certain providers that Shopify makes it easier for for you to connect your domain with so um, in my case uh, it's not going to show me those um, options here so so for you, they might be slightly different, but for the most people that uh, don't go with those common uh, domain hosting providers, and you will see something like this. So view instructions. So if I click on this, Shopify gives us some instructions so for us to connect our domain. And we are basically what we're doing is right now we are going to connect our dom third party domain to Shopify manually this link here so click on this and we will keep this here and we'll come back to it because we are going to need some of this information here and now I'm gonna go into one of uh, well my domain that I need to connect to Shopify um, so one common thing you'll see is doesn't matter which um, hosting account um, or I should say which uh, whichever domain registrar you're using you will have access to a zone editor like this link it might say something different but you're basically trying to edit some records in the zone so look for something along the line zone editor edit zone something like that so i am in cpanel this is you will have access to this 
if you are in your hosting account so you have a domain registered but then you can also have a hosting account and uh, that's how I'm accessing this so if you have exactly the same setup then of course you know um, you will have this link here we are going to go in here and in here I have two domains showing you might have just one whichever one you bought and want to connect to Shopify so mine is this fmrcarmus.com this is the one I want to connect to Shopify now let's go back to that page that we had from Shopify about instructions to connect our domain and down here so these are the changes we need to make so as it says change the following records point the a record to the Shopify IP address this IP right here and if necessary change the host name to at symbol delete any any other a records on the domain if there are any present point the C name record with the name www to this okay so what that basically is point the a record to this so I'm gonna copy this and go in our account and right next to the domain the one that you want to modify manage and up here you can see these just click on a record now in the a record you can see that fmrcommerce.com you'll see all kinds of other urls here so in here this the one that's like that has exactly your domain name you can do edit and then in here you see this IP you can paste that IP that you copied from Shopify and save and now next thing we go back and point the CNAME record with the name www so I'm gonna copy this and back in here go to CNAME and you see how it's, it says www so the one with the www this one I am going to edit and in here in the record field not here this is your name this is a record field I am going to paste that shops.myshopify.com and I'm going to save the record and that's pretty much it these two important steps and then let's see now if we go back to our site So the reason we're seeing this type of an error is that my site HTTPS is not enabled. Now if I take this S out of here, you can see the error went away. And now I went to my fmrcars.com and you can already see something Shopify related pages showing. Now it tells us here that to finish setting up your new web address go to your domain settings click connect existing domain so let me get to here you see the verify connection let me see if I click on this look at that your domain fmrcarms.com was successfully connected so this is great so sometimes it can take up to like 24 hours for this to get working so as you can see in here it says SSL pending so give it 24 hours or so and then your site should be 
up with uh, HTTPS and um, that is it the, just two important steps you go to your domain registrar and then you change those two records and that should do the job so I'm completing rest of this video the next day after we did all those changes but this page started to show up about 10 minutes after we did all the changes so that was pretty quick I thought it would probably take about 24 hours sometimes they usually say it can take up to 48 hours but it was pretty quick so this page started to show so what this means is that you know your store right now is behind a password um, that's how it is when you first uh, register and create your store um, you can remove the password once your site is ready but right now it is behind the password and so is this site so that's what it's showing right here now if I am logged in then I should be seeing the site so if you go at this point into your account and let's go to the store and we'll go to preview look at that you can see how now it changed the domain to fmrcommerce.com it's not the old fmrcommerce.myshopify.com um, so there it is once your store is ready you remove the password then you will not see this page you will directly be seeing your site so that's it for this video and thanks for watching